Hello guys and welcome back to Saving Your Ruined Campaigns. Today we are going to play a small nation of Italy being gagbanked by Spain, France and the whole hackbox. This will not be easy, we will see how much outnumbered we will be and how much we are losing in the text and ideas. So this will be really interesting and before we go to the description I have a giveaway for you guys. You can win a free EU4 DLC, all you have to do is to be a subscriber of the channel, leave a like on this video and of course comment it. Hello Slavic. I started as Milan and I was doing quite well. Expansion has been very easy because of my weak neighbors. My main allies were France and Bavaria. I lost both of them due to religious leaks. Everything went wrong when Spain got France in a PU. A few decades after they declared on me and they have a much higher troop count and a superior navy. Fortunately, the war goal is in northern Morocco, meaning they have to pass the Straits of Gibraltar, which I can hopefully defend. Okay, we are in. First thing you can see is a massive amount of the French troop on the northern side of our country. And this war is Spanish conquest of Tetuan. So, this province here in Africa, we are uh, defending the strait over here. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is that we don't have many armies. Why? They have 250,000 of it. On the text, we are good except the admin deck, so we'll be having to get back on this. To do that, I'm going to get level 3 advice already. I'm going to sell the titles to earn, to have more money on my spendings. And I'm going to take loans from the burgers. So, just 1% interest loans, 5 of them, which cost me just 2 of interest. Now we need to build more troops. The current combat width is 29. So, perfect stack to use would be 29029. But we don't have that many resources to do that. I'm thinking about one Merc stack just to quicker push those guys back. This stack is having 0 0.5 infantry fire, 1800. Like 29,000 would be the best. This is like a full cannon stack, see? 26,010. I mean, I wouldn't have to build any more cannons in this stack if I hire this one. This will cost us a lot of money, but we are in Italy, so if we push them back. This will not be a problem to repay that. Also, I'm thinking about better generals because my best general is currently 2-2. But the best one I see here is a 3-3-1. Free, free I'm thinking between this 3-3-1 free, free with 0.5 fire or these guys with artillery. I'm going to uh, recruit this smaller stack. I'll recruit the new Roma. Here on this stack, I'm just going to consolidate them to not spend too much money. And uh, also, I'm going to build a template which will be 2010. So the stack that I was thinking to hire. So start building and come closer to this border and we'll be pushing them back. I expect Spanish to come here. And on the armies, you see that they have 112,000 on France, 87 or Spain. On the army cult, we have some advantage on the morale, but that's purely because they own the 14th Miltech. We have 15th and 15th is giving plus one basic morale. So that's something that we should be using to get advantage. What I noticed that uh, the owner of the city didn't do was getting the defensive edicts everywhere, so it would slow them down with the conquest. This would be definitely useful in those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wars that we already lost on the north. I actually got attacked in Parma, the stacks that I was recruiting, and they are fighting on minus 2, so that's something that we could use, but I'm not sure if I will be on time to reinforce this battle, and the battle stack that I'm using here is not complete. So let's see that. I scorched the earth here, so they're reinforcing that very slowly, but they will be here in the next day, so I will see it. See, I just lost all of my advantage. Let's see, I'm trying to reinforce with everything, and as long as this will not go down, it is 49%, we might have a chance of winning that. Yeah, I need to reinforce with this 18,000 as well. At least they stop this uh, Siege of Como, so level 4, Mountain Fort. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We might win that. If I get the mercs, they're coming with 57,000! Oh, they're running away! We've got this! We've got this, guys. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to build another 20,000 troops. Just need to slack in this first. Because I'm simply getting too much outnumbered. So I'll get the new template and build them right here. I need to reorganize my troops, they're coming again with a bigger force. 
but this is all time consuming. Okay, now I have a stack 29025s, almost perfect to fight. And I have two reinforcement stacks here. I just need to get the leaders on them. Those are not also perfect stacks. But if they are standing like that here, I don't see many possibilities to fight. I need to let them in. I need to let them siege down this fort in Milano. And then I need to fight here. Just as those guys are gathering, I'm going to send 120k stack and stack wipe this Naples army. This should be uh, an easy stack wipe. And they are coming as you can see. Uh, a lot of movement. Yeah, most importantly to Mantua. Here I have the defensive edict, so it can take care of that. I'm going to leave one to three stacks. To carpetage everything back. And oh, 150,000 troops standing here on attrition. They already lost 53,000 to attrition. Now they split the armies a little bit. And I'm going to use that somehow. Uh, just. Those guys have 1k artillery, let's get to the, to the others. Okay, showtime. Are they going to get any crossing? They might get crossing in Mantua. And so, these guys are going to engage. Let's go. They'll be on the 17th, both of them. Now, start reinforcing. Maybe not speed 4. Let's go closer. First stack reinforcing. Second stack reinforcing. I still have artillery in the second row. Good. Second stack reinforcing. Look how much they are overstacking in this battle. They have 170,000 troops here. They have 59,000 reserves. I'm running or on like almost no reserves and reinforcing life. Another nice stack, stack reinforcing. See, I have 17,000 reserves. This will be super close depending on the rolls. But uh, it looks badly. It looks badly. That's still re outnumbering me a lot. Those guys just are carpet sieging. So massive army. I'm wondering if they have any, any loans because of that. Because like, how many troops we can afford? It's 500 death and those guys have 1.6k dead. So, no. No, it's not even close. We need to somehow get the army split and then engage in the battles. Because this way... As you can see, we are not going to win. Just go back. What about the losers? Uh, they were pretty similar. This might be such situation. They are standing here with just 14,000. Maybe this stack doesn't have full morale. But they will be here on 15th. Those guys are living on 8th. So I should be able to engage. No! 15th. We are both being on 15th here. Ah, uh, they are high on the list. Okay. So they got there first. The losers are already 200,000. So, we are killing a lot of them, but it's still not enough. And at this point, what would they like to take in this war? That would be all of these provinces to Naples. So, no, I'm not going to accept that. I might have a shot of attacking them here. It's farmlands with no crossing. I will honestly try. They don't have any leader. Just shift consolidate. Shift consolidate. Yeah, I will not be able to stack by them. But that should be, of course, they got one to one, but that's an easy battle. And now, right now, they're engaging on me. So I'm going to get this 10k out of the battle. Oh, okay, they got it anyway. Let's see how we are damaging them. It's just easy. Like, honestly, if they get 15, okay, France is already 15. That's why it wasn't that easy. It's 200 defenders, so I just could rush the fort and take it down immediately. But it's 21 percent at the beginning of the siege, so I'm not going to waste my mid points. I also managed to bait those guys to cross the strait on minus three. One twice down. Oh my god, yeah, getting here. Let's scorch this. Shift consolidate. Well, I don't have enough troops to defend here. Those guys will be too late. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. This is constant fighting for the living here. And, well, Spanish army is trash. Because they don't have the 15th technology. But see, my, my front line is dead already here. So, even though I have morale, I don't think I'll be having enough troops on the battlefield to win that. Okay, we won this. Ooh. How many wars can we have from the battles? Plus two. 260,000. Is France disloyal? <gasps> We've got this! France is disloyal! They're not going to stand for a little while on my terrain. So it's all about killing Spanish troops right now. Let's go and regain the forts. I can take uh, the first 
and Wintech. By the way, I also started building spy network on Spain in order to get the technology cheaper. So here I'm getting it for 2% cheaper already thanks to it. So I'm not going to take the technology yet. We need to save more points. Spain is engaging here. They will be in uh, 4 days. Those guys are disloyal. I need to reinforce with a lot of troops because those regiments are s simply empty. So get there right away. I hope I don't have much artillery in the first story. It's just one, two stacks I see there. And right now reinforce with uh, a little bit more more wisely. 8,000. Don't you tell they are going here. It's 77%. They're going to Turin. Okay. Wise choice, France. Wise choice. Oh, the Merc stack is just 2,000 now. How much I'm paying for this? I'm paying for this Merc stack. Okay, just two ducats because they are... See how empty they are? They're almost also out of manpower. Let's get them... No, I'm keeping them on the siege because they're having a, a free siege general. I'm so much lacking manpower. Please help me. They're coming again. Ship consolidate. Uh, ship consolidate. Ship consolidate. Let's go. Maybe even stack wipe? No, I think uh, we don't have enough damage here. As this Merc stack is pretty much dead, I'm going to delete them. It's going to save me a lot of money for not being that much over the limit. My problem is that this 26,000 is doing nothing because it's just you know, keeping them from crossing the straight for the war goal. Maybe I'll be able to stack wipe this 22,000. Let's go. This uh, is Scorched Earth. With good rolls, I would be able to do that. And there we go. There we go, the stack wipe. At this point, I will be able to already piece them out for just Napoli, because it's a level 2 trade center in Genoa. But I'm thinking about taking more. Like, for example, those three provinces is 32% of the war score. With Napoli, it's 53. We are... Ah, uh, no, I can't take it. I would have to go into France. If I go into France, I have to fight with the 120,000 troops. So we pushed Spain almost fully out of our country already. But we still need a little bit more of the war scores. I'm going to take down Nizza. I might try engaging on the French stack of navy. Uh, because maybe those guys will start moving and stop blockading me. Which will give me more war score. Now it's 37. And they're blocking me around here. Let's see. Worst thing if I lose here. And they will start, start blocking me here as well. And I'm losing here. Okay, I think we need to get out of this. Let's take those two, so trade center and the province next by, and I'm going to take also a little bit of the money, which is not so bad, it will be like for two loans, peace them out, we won the war, that's the most important part of it. Now start crawling those two provinces, um, for this guys just consolidate them, get them back home, uh, get those back uh, guys back home this way, now turn off all of the armies, turn off all of the forts. We need to uh, organize our income, going uh, to start repaying, but not 1% loans, but the 4% loans to decrease our interest. What about the allies? We need to find new allies so this thing like this will not happen again. Of course, it's, it can be Commonwealth, that's the first one. And second one, as we still have Portugal. Now I don't think anybody will like to attack us and we need to take care of our income. We need to increase that now. To do that, we need to take care of the devastation, so I'm going to turn on forts wherever I have this devastation. And it's mostly unfortunately because uh, of the war, but also just I got raided by Tunis a second ago. So I need to send a few ships just to stab the pirates and the rest to protect my trade. So I've lost a couple of ships, I'm going to build the new ones. So let's get a template of 20 of them for the trade ships. I'll need a little bit more of the money and in the meantime get a flagship. Flagship is going to get trade power per ship in the fleet. It's going to get uh, the engagement with and morale. My main weapon to pay back the loans, of course, except positive balance, is going to be sales of titles, a thousand ducats at this point. Then I will be seizing the land and I will just be exchanging those two things. And this allows me to repay a lot of loans each time. So I have just nine of them, and five of those are just one percent, just. Those don't matter, I need to repay those. And right now balance is 18. Devastation is not a big problem because on the province of the forts and the provinces around them, you are getting minus 0.8 for the friendly faults. I have choice between great amount of money 
and the cheaper advisor and what i'm choosing of course the cheaper advisor because we need the admin points and this guy just cost me five of maintenance so i could even get him to level four or five for now let's keep him on level three because i don't have money to increase this i'm going to get the charter trade company which is giving me additional merchant and trade power abroad so take this i'm going to pay by lands no i'm not going to give you lands army professionals no admin points corruption i can give corruption i can give perfect and this merchant is going to be sent to probably alexandria or maybe even here because i have 41 percent in tunis but i'm not getting any of that and by the way i should add it's stated let's destate that i'm going to add this province why is it all stated? Why is it all stated? It would be way better as a trade company. I'm going to destate this as well. I'm going to add these promises to trade companies, but I don't think those two will be enough to change anything. Let's see income first of all. And it's just 1.9 coming. And what percentage do you have? You have 35. So without Tunis, it will be, uh, it will be not enough. Just this is 44. So if I take this, and probably invest money into right at least one for center to get it to level two it should be enough to get another merchant 50 percent we need 51 50.8 here oh seriously now we can talk i have 40 balance you will have the merchant so i'm going to send him now why is he not in ragusa it's champagne venice Genoa, tunis yeah, let's send him to Ragusa. It's now our income is 106. We are getting that higher. Remember that we have devastation literally everywhere after this war. We're like, there's no prosperity. We never heard of that in our country. So, with prosperity, it would be definitely better. This guy's going to level 4. Just 9 ducats. Still 34 balance. Uh, this technology is going on the 14th. You can see I have 3% cheaper thanks to my spy network on the Ottomans. There it goes. It unlocks the new idea group, which is going to be quantity. And I'm going to take just the first one, which will increase my MM power significantly. This will be very helpful. And I need to be ready to take 16th technology any second if, for example, Spain decides to attack me again. So if we look on my claims, I can only go around here. For example, on Chile, which is granted by Hungary. Let's see that. Austria would not help. And those guys are minors. This is not that many troops that they have. Because Ottomans, Ottomans uh, are a little bit different thing. Yes, especially that they will be helped by Gribitan. So yeah, I'm going after Chile. I'm catching opportunities. So I saw this 9k stacks from Bohemia without a leader. Even though this stack is trash. Don't cloak on that. You don't see this. It should still be a stack wipe. So here I'll be having some advantage when this finish. Oh my god, 42. I'm betting that they're going to get this on 7% when I'm going not going to get this on 64. This is like 100% sure. Look on that. Look on that. Look on that. Look on that. All right. A little bit of luck this time. Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting there already. I'm going with my whole power. So they will not even think about reinforcing that. Yes. Exactly. From the papacy, like manpower is organized already, so we don't need more of this. I'll go for national attacks. Just for now, it will be helpful to repay our loans uh, farther more. Go switch down Hungary, because from Hungary, I could be able to maybe separate piece them and take money. That's one loan to be repaid. Uh, why another stack is going to run away and stack with them. Let's see, Hungary. Are you going to accept it right now? Of course you will. Give me your reparations. I forgot that this thing is even uh, possible to take after my Ottomans campaign. Maybe break some relations, but I don't see anything really important here. Yeah, just, just send the peace deal. I should be able to peace them out for what I wanted. So Zagreb and um, Reka, that's my claim. And that's a little bit of I guess, expansion. Take some money on top of that. And peace them out. I didn't want to take much because my truce with Venice ends in like two years. So, no rush with this. Venice is more important. My diplomat got caught, so I'm going to take this faster. Right now, it's 3.2% bonus. Take it. I'm ahead in admin tech now. I'm not going to take this yet, because we are saving. 
and same for this uh, because we have quite the ideas to fill. The unfortunate thing is that I can't go to the stage general because after all my crown land will be completely destroyed. They're going to receive probably 20 few, 20% 20 of it. And here just before the age of absolutely, so for now, no, it's unfortunately not possible. We have reconquest castles ability on the Venice, so I don't have to care about her aggressive expansion. Yeah, this will be not a problem at all. Wait a month to regain a little bit of at least of the morale. They are allied to these guys and these guys. Okay. Okay, so we'll need stack on the left side of the country. You come here. I saw that one of my allies wants to help, and it's uh, Bavaria. Okay, I will call them because I'm lazy and I don't want to go farther. Or maybe you might wait and, for example, use them in the war against Castile or something. I would attack them if France was uh, disloyal, but they are freaking clear. Okay, just for now, go after Venice. Declare war and the reconquest. I'm not going to call anyone. Let's try our navy. I don't know what is the current engagement with, but I think half of these guys should be good enough. Let's see. Verona is down. Current engagement with his 30. Okay, so I did pretty nicely. Those guys were going. <gasps> I see what his tune is doing. Uh, hunt pirates. Venice. See, there's two of them standing here, just waiting. Oh, not even Venice. Hunt pirates. Genoa. Okay. You should change your mind right now. You shouldn't trade this. This is not your goal. This would be the best if I take transfer trade power. But we don't have enough war score to do that. Let's just take a little bit less of the money. That's one loan to repay. And from Venice, I'm taking my course, my claim. And as much money as uh, they're going to accept, which is 200 another ducats. Our borders are even better now. Uh, same for the money, I can repay another loan. And we're just left with three loans and 300 ducats. Start coring this one province and we'll be increasing the income also farther. My next goal right here is going to attack Tunis. I just need one more move for the claim. And I'm attacking them because they will be raiding my coast otherwise, so we don't have time to waste and just go and take them down. At least I need to, you know, take all of the provinces next to the sea, so they will be not able to maintain any ships. From here I'm going to take... I don't know, honestly, because none of it's... How's my inflation? I have some inflation because of my loans, so let's take this. I'm a little bit ahead on time on the deep tech. And uh, this cost me not that much to death. And uh, with this trade center, this here will be also cheaper. Yes. Okay. Do this, get this on level 2. This guy's. Uh, I wanted to death manpower just to know. <laughs> I'm so used to death manpower, not in this campaign. Here I'm just going to death it up to 20, but with my deep low points. The last thing that I want to take care of before Age of Absolutism is Absolutism. So. I will need these guys. Let's see my cultures map of the acceptance one. Okay, this is good. So I need to get these guys less loyal. Okay, first of all, I'm going to seize some land. This will be some rebels from the Catholics, which is okay. It's not the important thing for me. Yes, it's 44, here is 64. The next time. I'll just cancel this and take this, because I need to cause particulars in my country, and this was the way to get them. I was so happy that I'm finally getting some prosperity, and then freaking Fezan raided me. I'm going to grab my strongest fleet, which is actually where, until I'm going to hunt pirates in Genoa. Or even better, I'm going to declare war straight on them, without preparations. Just declare uh, Morocco is non-existent, so go for it. So I'll destroy this fleet before they will raid more. This would hurt me too much. Now split half goes there and half goes there. Even though I don't have claims on everything, I'm just going to fully annex them because it doesn't matter, take all of the money, just getting more borders, more beautiful for everything and we have a mission fulfilled for African Proconsular. Next one is Ethiopia. What is it? Hurst of Iron? 
that I need to take this. Time to embrace the global trade. I'm going to take one loan or two loans that I need. I'm going to take one more loan. I'm going to embrace it. Take both of the technologies. Yes, I am having too many power points. And with the additional merchant, I'm going to send him ooh, money. I'm going to send him to Alexandria. This will be even useful to decrease their loyalty. For the, my goal to spawn the particularists, I just need to get down the advisor. Giuseppe. Now that he's not going to leave my court. So I can take him as he's cheaper. I can finish quantity ideas, which allows me from the policies I don't see. Yeah, and there's nothing really interesting about my force stimulus right now, 160. So I can adjust my stacks a little bit to the combat width, which is 30. So this is a good stack. Those guys are having 21,000. Those guys are having 19,000. So you can see, this is 30k uh, counts in total. I'm just keeping them like that, and I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently. So its stack will be having 10,000 of artillery, which will be just a little bit easier for the single player sieges, and also for the efficient battles for the count stacks. And those normal stacks will be increased to 30k of infantry. I think this uh, this country will be prepared to fight either the Ottomans or Spaniards. Because those are the two conquests paths that are left well there's also the mamluks which should be easy to conquer uh, just there's a need to be of the spy network age of absolutely just ended and my max absolute is, is 67 it's not there yet but it won't be a problem for the player to deal with that now we have to get the burgers disloyal and spawn the rebels according to them which is particularist it's okay that with this particular, even though I have turned off ports and everything, because I'm just going to go here and I'll accept the demands. You see, this will decrease my absolute by 10, but you can't decrease something that is already zero. So, accept the demands. This increases out from a million of the provinces, like all of the my main provinces. And now I can decrease the autonomy there, which will give me some starting absolute. Now it's 24. That's something. Second thing I would like to abuse over here to get it maybe to 30. I'm going to save the game and restart it. I'm going to show you something. When you load up your game, it thinks that you have 1750, like almost zero autonomy, even in not stated provinces. So it means if it thinks that you have 17, you can decrease this autonomy, but it was already changed here. And for example, in this. See, it thinks that uh, the alpha is right now 80, I can decrease it, and it's increasing to 90, because in fact it's not stated, so I cannot decrease the alpha over here. This is uh, something that I can abuse further, but uh, I thought there will be more provinces in Africa that can use this, just uh, those few, and that's it, that's it. Right now, the starting absolute this is 20. Six. He has at least starting 17 admin efficiency for the next conquest. And you can also see that Ottomans are at war with Hunger and Commonwealth, so it might be a good idea to attack them at this point. They have 17th technology, it has 60,000 troops, which is not that much more than Italy, and not that much better quality of this arms. So I would consider that, but not, that's not up to me, and we are going to end on this today. So, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can see that we increased our income to 150, our first to 174. We have a lot of manpower. Uh, we finished quantity ideas. We're up to date with all the text. This one is uh, pretty useless, so I prefer to finish quantity ideas. So before we end, remind them, guys, we have a DLC giveaway. All you have to do is to be a subscriber of this channel. And why not subscribe for this type of content? You need to leave a like on this video and comment it. And I will see you soon in another video from the Ottomans campaign.